Hello everyone, you all are welcome once again to Believer's Slow World Message Studio and this channel brings you all reaction messages from Mighty Man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Ayakilomi and if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this that we're posting on this channel then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel and you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee then kindly use the thanks button below I'm glad they appreciate it. So on this message, I'm man of God, Reverend the Chris Oyakilomi, we will be exposing some facts about the government, what the government are trying to implement in a short period of time, which is not good for us as an individual. As an individual, we will not have the right to have over 50 contacts in our phone. If not, you'll be sued and you'll be questioned by the government why you have over 50 contacts in your phone. So let's pay attention to this video and hear what our man of God, Reverend Chris Ayakilomi, has to say about this and what we as an individual need, what we need to do as an individual. So I urge you all to kindly do well to watch this video to the end. And if you have anything at all to tell us what you feel about this message, then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section. And do not forget to share this message as well for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it also helps this channel to grow thank you all and keep watching message that you send on their platform you have given them money you are strengthening them against the church they think it's just normal it's not normal I don't understand the opportunity for reaching the world that we have right now there has never been a better time to win people to Christ than this hour that we're in. And let's not lose the opportunity. In a short while, many of the open doors today will close. Do you realize, you're talking about data, do you realize the European Parliament, for example, has already endorsed the move to Take away from the people all data in terms of names and addresses of people. What you have today, very soon, you wouldn't have a right to use the data that you have. In a short while, it's already been endorsed, it's already been passed. They have it. It's just to actualize it everywhere and they're going to have that throughout Europe then you're going to have it in many other countries where the government will take your data from you it will become illegal for you to have the names and addresses of other people yes, for example you, some of you have 500 people on your mailing list the moment will come where you'll be told you are only allowed to keep 10 and that you must return all others to the government. You'll be told where to send the data to. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you imaginations. I'm telling you documents I've already seen. I've seen the documents myself. So the time is coming and very soon. And you'll be told that it is illegal for you to hold such information of other people they're your friends or oh, the government tells you maybe they allow you to have 10 maybe they allow you to have 15 to get any more you have to apply to a government office yes, sir. it's already happening in ghana. in ghana okay to get more you have to apply to a government office And said, why, why do you want the data? Who are they to you? How can only you have 50 friends? They say, you can't have 50 friends. It's not true. Illegal possession of data will be the charge. If you have more than a certain number given to you by the government. So today you are holding a lot of data. And look. What we have to do right now 
is to get this information so we can send the gospel to them because the moment will come where it will be illegal to possess it. We're not even talking about sending. You can't even have it. If you send messages to others, you'll be charged to court. The question will not be why did you send it? The question will be how did you have the data? The problem is the data. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. This is very serious. So more and more people are going to be losing their rights. And the reason is, oh, uh, we don't want people to be writing you. Government wants to protect you. So that's the reason. They want to protect you. We're all going to say, yes, that's fine. The government is protecting us. Protecting us from us. So this is the moment when we say, spread this news. I'm not advising you to carry information that you should not be carrying. Don't send things to people that uh, are unnecessary. But I can tell you, Rhapsody needs to go out. To all your friends, send them a message. Say, I'm, I'm going to be sending you rhapsody. It needs to go out. This gospel needs to go out quickly. 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 And one of the things you can do is give us data to use now. Give us data to use now. And here's another important thing, another very important thing. We, when we endorse a platform for use, take that platform seriously and use it. Empower such platforms. There's a reason. The more you empower platforms that are owned or sponsored by individuals or organizations that have a tone i don't want to say that are against the gospel because many of you don't know that they are actually against the gospel if you know the fight that's out there against the gospel of jesus christ you'd be amazed some of the very supposedly friendly organizations that many of you are on some of those platforms are the most ruthless against the church but many don't know the more you use their platforms the more you enrich them the more you embolden them against the church every single information that you're sending on their platform you are giving them money because data is money. Every chart that you send on their platform, you have given them money. Every text message that you send on their platform, you have given them money. You are strengthening them against the church. But the church has never been told this. They think it's just normal. It's not normal. We have to understand. It's about time. And the, the short period of time that we have before the Lord Jesus comes back, we have to do everything we can to build platforms for the gospel. Because the day will come where other platforms will lock out the church. And suddenly you cannot communicate. Suddenly. And it will happen suddenly. Already, there are certain things in order. They're just waiting for the guy that's bold enough to do it. reason why we need to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and this is the reason why we are doing what we're doing today ensuring the gospel of Christ which is everyone no matter where you are no matter where you are this is the reason why I keep on pleading on everyone to share our messages so that others also can be blessed you know and I believe you guys have learned something from this particular message. You know, in life, there are some certain kind of things you hear and you can't unhear them. 
So this is one message that you hear that that you come across and you listen to and you can't unhear it. It's something that is it, one message that you listen to and you, you you keep it inside of you and also you share it so that others also can know what is going on around the world. So thank you all for watching this wonderful episode and I believe you learned something from this particular message and if this is the first time you're coming across this channel and you can afford to miss videos like this that were posted on this channel then you really have to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the question bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and please do not forget to share this message for it to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it also helps this channel to grow thank you all for watching and stay tuned till we see you next time we love you and god bless you